さてどう楽しむか滝のおしいだキャリングケースに入れても重さは 1.2kg ですから持ち運びも楽ですヘッドホンで楽しむアウトドア CD ハイフィルターをオンにすればヘッドホンで聞く音質も滑らかです
Cybermania 94. Amazing achievements have been made in the field of gaming this year. The arrival of CD-ROMs and CDIs and other platforms. Well, I, the car alarm. I, they really are a pain. I, hey, just a minute. That sounds like the alarm on my car. Excuse me what? for a minute. Hey, excuse me, you're, you're leaning on my car, you're setting out the alarm. Cowboys won't be bothering you anymore. Well, now there's a the guy who really knows how to get into the battle mode. By the way, here's a tip if you're playing Mortal Kombat 2 on Super NES. At the start of the screen, press the left, right button and the start buttons together. Now you're into battle mode. Hey everyone, we're going to be exceptionally brave today because we're going to throw it all the way back. I swore I didn't want to play Fallout 1, but here I am playing Fallout 1. Oh, I didn't even set up my 4x, hold on a minute. We're going to play this in, in proper 4x3, but that requires a little bit of, uh, a little bit of setup that I didn't do. I've been distracted by a lot of things. It's been a weirdly eventful day. Look at how classy that is. Look at how classy that title card is. Uh, we get our first ink spots uh, title track. So uh, I didn't do a whole lot of research about Fallout. So I don't have a lot to say about it in context. The only, the only context I have really is just my own personal context, which was playing it. I played this in, Fall in Final Fantasy VII at the same time. Which is really weird, because I got a PC in like... I got a PC a few months around when 7 came out on PC in America? So it was the first time I was... Definitely the first time I was exposed to a game like Fallout. And I, I pursued it specifically because uh, PC Gamer's review at the time was so glowing. And made it pretty clear to me that it was a kind of game that I'd never played before, and that ended up being true. Dante, thank you for the sub. Thank you very much. 
Um, what really stands out to me about Fallout? Woo! Tall GIF. Tegze, thank you for the thank you for the sub. Hand over the ease. You don't get them. You're at 43 months. Oh, oh, there's interesting. There's cut content between the various editions of Fallout. I think if you're just playing it, you're not gonna you're not gonna notice that. I don't think, but I could be wrong. All right, hold on. I used to have this in MediaTek. I need to bring it back. When you are God, that animation. Oh. Kala, thank you for the sub. Yeah, the war criminal from Fallout 4. That was a joke, right? I'm pretty sure. Will prove untrue. It was not a joke? Who cares? Wait, Fallout 4 is on the other side of the... of the na Well, I guess it's TV, whatever. That's so dumb. Who fucking cares? God. Baroni. Thank you for the sub. Oh, that's so stupid! Anyway, I did like the TV show. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Of course, a video game writer is going to pop in with a most meaningless, pointless, factoid, connecting two dots that don't matter at all. Ugh, I'm just Wiggles. Thanks for gifting 10 subs. War. Thank you very much. War never changes. Woo. The Romans waged war to gather They just looked in old cutscenes and picked a guy. Spain built an empire from its lust for gold and territory. Hitler shaped a battered Germany into an economic superpower. He explained it was thrown around internally before release, but they never decided and left it open century. to players. War was open to players? What the, the fuck does that mean? That means literally every unnamed NPC is open to the players to connect to whatever unnamed NPC they want. So it's weapons. That is... Petroleum and uranium. For these resources... Bafflingly stupid. Alaska, the US there's no, there's no value to that at all. Anyway, j Part, thank you very much. Oh, then, now that's ease. <laughs> bent on controlling the last remaining resources on Earth. In 2077, the storm of World War had come again. I'm distracting myself. In two brief hours, most of the planet was reduced to cinders. But there's no, there's no value to that. What does it matter? What does it matter? civilization would struggle to arise. Does it mean anything? No. To reach the relative safety of the person A was person B. Great. Anyway, yeah, the show was great. <laughs> I really enjoyed it. Vault 13. Because it felt like Fallout 1 and 2. A large vault door under a I guess it was. it's in the same area, which is what I'm confused by. I thought Shady Sands was in, like, Northern California. I guess you are in a desert in Fallout 1. Hello, Ferret King. It is? Okay. I was like, that's weird. I didn't think Shady Sands was, like, in L.A. Click. No, I played this game before. I played it kind of when it came out. Max Stone. Yeah, it's like halfway between LA and San Francisco. Yeah, so that's interesting. That makes me wonder, like, are there multiple? Or is that is that narrative like manipulated? I don't know. I don't want to get into spoiler stuff, but Gordon. Oh. If I'd known it was you, I'd have let you in. Everyone's heading for the service. But I think they're crazy not to stay put. Someone is bound to come by and rescue us. You know, it's very likely that this game and the original Half Life were installed right next to each other on somebody's hard drive. Kinda of close to each other in the alphabet. Um Xeon, oh. E. Thank you for the twenty four months. Thank you very much. Get a load of that, that like ambient audio already though. I'm gonna use my headphones for this.
Yeah, obnoxious priest. That's kind of that's kind of what happened. Is that the location of the first city here, which was also apparently the uh so All right, Lore Lorehounds will correct me. But here's kind of the origin or here's the here's the sort of like thread of the lore is that Shady Sands is the first village you go to in Fallout 1. New Vegas established that Shady Sands is where the NCR was founded and it was the headquarters of the NCR. I think. I don't think that connection was made before New Vegas. Whatever. So now the show comes along and that's still true, but also Shady Sands is in a different part of California. Um, it's been moved south to where Los Angeles is, essentially. So that's weird. Um, and then and then things happen or have happened to Shady Sands in the show that I won't get into for spoiler reasons. But that kind of conflicts with the state of things as it's known in New Vegas. Because the, the timelines don't really add up. But also it's entirely possible that like information is manipulated or localized or not communicated and things like that. Oh, it's basically in Nevada. Hmm. But does it matter? <laughs> not really. Um, I don't think I don't think any of those discrepancies like ding or or change any of the the value of the stories. It's not like a Star Wars thing, you know, where they they just like go back and rewrite a very critical element that somehow reframes somebody's entire relationship. It's nothing like that. It's just some some like numbers don't quite. I think some criticism is due to lack of attention paid. It wasn't a whoopsie. It wasn't due to lack of attention. It was a choice. So I don't know about that. Um, they didn't act like there's no way they didn't know, especially with the thing, the other things they paid attention to. So anyway, that's what I, that's what I think. I'll take, I'll take a, I'll take a deviation like that nine times out of like uh, 10 times out of 10 over all the other silly things that adaptations do. Now then. Uh, it is not easy to survive in this game. I'm trying to remember what build I took that I was just finally able to get off, like, get off the ground, get some good gear, get some kills in the early game. Folk Haunt, thank you for the sub. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta put our hands together and pray for a Matt Berry voiced Fisto. <laughs> That'd be a hell of a cameo. Although, I guess it's not as... Not as removed. This menu's giving you diarrhea. Yeah. Yes. Look at all these tiny buttons just in a big ass row. The black on green. This is actually so a million years ago. I had this aesthetic on my stream. Green on green on black. Because I was basically matching the terminal look of the original Fallout. And then monochrome displays of the 80s and stuff, but it also has that kind of like green glow radiation look. But yeah. This is Fallout 1, everyone. This is what it looks like. Uh, well, I'm not in the world yet, but... But yeah, this is the reason that these games could not be on console. You could not put this on a... Like a PS2 or a PS1 even. Couldn't even... Would like die thinking about this amount of text. This on a, on a blurry CRT across the room? Forget about it. So it was interesting that this game and Final Fantasy VII sort of were the respective hits in their, in their realms of design. Because good God... It'd be like smoke coming out of a, a VCR. Uh, all right. I remember it's like, I need small guns. That's important. Should we go with speech? Let's see if I can... And I think lockpick. I ended up taking early on. Ugh. Charisma build. That's the like that's the way to play this game like a puzzle. Trying to figure out the uh, the diplomatic hooks that the game puts in for you to use. I never I never did a one int max luck run of original Fallout or anything like that. Hmm. Well, you know what? Fuck it. Should we do it? Nah. We need we need like we need a traditional look at the game first before we try to do a goof run. Something where I don't die <laughs> right away. 
Also, I don't know, I remember this game being exceptionally, um... I remember this game being exceptionally intimidating. Especially since I'd just basically gotten weaned on JRPGs. Hmm. First aid, Doctor. Okay, we gotta take the good boy. Good boy trait. Also, the artwork. It's really interesting to see the things about Fallout that were... that were kind of nailed early on. I don't necessarily see as much of the, like... a sort of military stencil. Or even this, like, camo military look. Yeah, Bloody Mess is fun. Go with that. Need perception to be able to shoot anything. Hmm. This was also the first game where, like, I remember sweating individual stat points. Just like, like I was carving. Carving an experience. Did you watch the whole show? I did. Yeah, I finished it in a big chunk yesterday. But uh, for the sake of folks in chat, don't don't go too crazy with spoilers or anything. Yeah, agility is important, huh? You need those action points. I have seven. All right, let's go. Wait, hold on. None. <laughs> Burnt. I don't know why, it just feels right. Ah, you're here. Good. We've got a problem. A big one. The controller chip for our water purification system has given up the ghost. Can't make another one, and the process is too complicated for a workaround system. Simply put, we're running out of drinking water. No water, no vault. This is crucial to our survival. And frankly, I, I think you're the only hope we have. You need to go find us another controller chip. We estimate we have four to five months before the vault runs out of water. We need that chip. We marked your map with the location of another vault. Not a bad place to start, I think. Look, just be safe, okay? Hell yeah. Get out there and hurt somebody. You know what I'm really curious about? Um, when it was established that like vault -Tec was up to some screwy shit, I don't remember if that was in, Vault, in Fallout 1, or maybe that was a Fallout 2 thing. This is the very- yes, this is the very beginning of Fallout 1. Man, this is so good. Oh! Alright, time to stay alive. You see bones. Search damn bones. Yeah. Just have to like loot shit. Take everything. Oh god, look at this artwork. Man, this is taking me back. You fucking... Healing chem. When injected, the chem provides immediate healing of minor wounds.
This audio is so good! Holy shit. There was this whole, like, kind of, like, desert, psychedelic feeling. It was this, like, Half-Life 1 had a lot of that energy. Ugh. Yeah, Morrissey, I remember 3 going hard into the the Voltec thing, kind of attaching them to way more than they they were in the universe before that, but Let's see here. I don't want to start using bullets yet. Maybe I should though. Okay, there's a rat there. That's scary. Okay, that swaps and combat. All right. Character screen, Pip Boy. This is the Pip Boy screen. That was, I gotta admit, there were a lot of really clever things that Fallout 3 did, but uh, the way that it used the Pip Boy as an interface was super, super smart. I thought their adaptation of, uh, of Vats was particularly intelligent. All right, Rat, let's do it, ow. Ha! Hell yeah. Hell yeah, brother. Looked it up. Oh, I can perform a can perform a skill on it? That's how to do that? Okay. Tried to I tried to pickpocket the dead rat. Yeah, survived first combat. We are doing very well. It's funny, I remember seeing the intro video a ton of times because I started the game over so much. I was so intimidated by it for, and I would like waste resources, didn't understand the importance of, and even the acceptance of save scumming in experiences like this. When was the last time you played this? Uh, pfft, shit. 20 plus years ago? It was back when it came out. I have not played Fallout 1 since then. That's the that's the golden opportunity right there. Like even little things like that, trying to initiate combat and then forcing them to use movement points to get to you so you get the first attack. It's pretty basic like roguelike stuff even. But I didn't know that playing this game the first time. Oh, did your gamer stretch show up? It did. It did. You know what? It is a good time for a gamer stretch. I think it might have been 98 when I played it, because I remember Fallout, Wing Commander Prophecy, and Final Fantasy VII were the- the and Quake II. That, those were like the big games I got when I got a PC for the first time. Alright everyone, let's- let's have a nice, atmospheric, ambient stretch. Be corner, thanks for gifting a sub. I've uh oh I've had this knot in my shoulder that I've been trying to work out over the past couple of days. I think maybe I've been a little a little maybe too mean to it. Maybe I just gotta like a massage. Mmm. Satori, you contend that multiple towns can be named the same thing? Uh yeah, I agree. I, I I think even if you're just changing something, it, it doesn't actually affect the story at all, so who cares? You're typing? And then also, uh Yeah, information is not very reliable on the wasteland, right? Yeah, it tells you the action points to go over there. Uh oh. Uh, the experience points. Oh, uh, you need to 
thousand points, bro. Oh, so it's this is definitely the for the era of like giving you a, f a few level ups just to get your ego going. I'll never forget playing Baldur's Gate one and being a stupid wizard with like eight HP and just getting stabbed once and dying. <laughs> just one stab. I got two, two turns in a row. There we go. Ooh. Oh, he was a tricky one. Okay, is it... I wonder what save is that for? All right. I am the Rat King. I'm all stanced up. Come here, asshole. Oh, you beat this a few or a couple of years ago. Had to save scum hard. Yeah, yeah. I think the only way maybe you can get through this without save scumming, based on how the combat is balanced, you either just need to be insanely experienced in how the the game operates. Know where to find a lot of free stuff. Barter everything very efficiently, or uh, or just like do uh, I guess do everything diplomatically. If you know the like ways to resolve things without combat, you can kind of just do everything in a very predetermined order. yet. I did like the show. Yeah. I really enjoyed it. Mm. Now we're gaming. Yes. <laughs> Missing a rat three times in a row. Ha! <laughs> well, I can like... Maybe I should try to clear a path to the exit first before I try to farm these rats for XP. <laughs> let's, let's... Now I'm deploying real strats. Where'd that stupid rat go? Can't see him. There's one down there, right? Is there a run toggle outside of combat? Yes. I'm pretty sure you can run in, in combat as well. But if you're like in combat, like this, squeak, <laughs> you have to, uh, you have to use action points to move. Also, you know what's really fascinating? I, re I remember remarking about this before. That little sound of going into vats, that zzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzz
like the little squat I do when I swing my knife. Huh. Oh dear. I missed? How could you tell? It's all gonna be worth it when we get that level up like five seconds early. the sound effects man just the like whispering it's got this paranoid energy and like it it feels alone but like the ghosts of civilization are all around you wow. hey josh guy thanks for the sub i gotta figure out how to get emotes working man anyway i actually played this for the first time yesterday wow. kind of fun but have to keep up look or have to keep looking up what to do next yes this is a game where it expects you to be uh the initiator of most things. You have to find things on your own and then kind of push the issue, make uh, mental connections. Oh. And some of those, some of those expectations are not ex exactly reasonable. I wouldn't think. Midge six, thank you. Fatal control. Thank you. A lot of sub activity today. It's a, oh, it's a PCIe bandwidth issue and VRAM allocation issue. Damn. What an annoying thing. <laughs> uh, I guess you've got potential upgrades in your future. Okay, there's one more rat, or two more rats, and I've got 8 HP. It's time to, to become the Rat King. It's time. Yeah, these rats don't know what's coming. I've been pushed to the brink. I'm, on, I'm a man on the edge. If I get in one random encounter on the way to Shady Sands, I'm going to die. It's a sandbox in the best way possible. Go wherever and do whatever. You can fail, but it's your journey. Yeah. I think I think the other perceptive thing is they, they put a time limit on you. And the time limit is pretty generous, but it's still like an interesting stressor in a game that gives you very little direction. It's like, you got to figure this out now. And also, we're not even going to give you many hints about what to do. You just have to roam around and figure it out. There is a breadcrumb trail there, but what's interesting is you, you can't really follow it directly. The overseer told you where the next vault is, and you can try to go straight there, but you'll get fucked. Um, even if you manage to get there, you'll just be woefully underprepared. So it's like, yeah, you gotta, you gotta go to Shady Sands and ask around, and then it just kind of spirals out from there. All right, rats eradicated. Phew, wait. I thought you, you automatically got the pip for Shady Sands. Do you have to like go back and then they tell you about Shady Sands? Remember you can like talk to the thing again. Also do do the enemies respawn? Ever? Use the computer that does not recognize your access code. What if I scienced it? You failed to learn anything. Alright. Well, never mind. You see it along the way. Alright. I was trying to remember how that worked. Oh, 
Oh, come on. I move with more get up and go than that. Yeah, this is also like... Oh, fuck. This is also pretty, uh... Let's see here. You nearly fall over some rough terrain. They could use some environment management out here. Where are the managers? Okay. This is just a this is just a pump fake. Just a heads up. Yeah, this is like what, like a hundred years before the show. Oh man, it's like right here. That's awesome. Welcome to Shady Sand, stranger. Please holster that weapon while you're here. All right. Yes, wait, hold on. No. That does that. I guess I just need a, like, an empty slot. I there was a button to, like, holster a button. That's fine. I am called Seth. How can I help you? here. I want to know about this place. Shady Sands is a peaceful community. Hey, I made it. I survived. We have our own irrigation system so we can grow our own food. If we were not plagued with raiders and rad scorpions, we would have no problems. Sounds like some quests to me. Tell me about the rad scorps. Those damn rad scorpions have been after our brahmins since we moved here. Not a week goes by that someone doesn't get poisoned trying to keep them out of the pens. Last week they took my brother Jarvis looking for an antidote as quickly as you can. Wait, what? I didn't know it's sc it like scrolled. Talk to our leader, Aradesh. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, you can do the red scorpion stuff before you talk to Aradesh. You should speak to Aradesh, our leader. He likes to meet all of our visitors. He should be in the town hall building in the south. All right. My name is Katrina. My job is to greet strangers and help them understand our village. We find that there are a few problems if you listen to what I have to say. I'm looking for a water chip. As a matter of fact, yes, my old home, Vault 15, had one. I haven't been there since I was hurt, but you might find what you were looking for there. Someone said, Wah! Okay. Someone said that they tried to go to the vault and have a look around, but it was dark and the elevator was broken. Hope you're better prepared. That's right, you have to, like, take a rope, right? And then you can explore? We're gonna get some better equipment. You'll have to do like we do, scavenge it or trade for it. And if you're attacked, your foes might provide equipment if you live long enough to loot them. We're a peaceful community, so we mostly barter or trade for the items we cannot produce. Oh yeah, you can like trade with everybody. There's a tell me about, oh, there's like a hotkey you can type in too. Damn, I forgot about that. Tell me about the rest of the world. I know very little of the outside world. I escaped from a vault when it was attacked. Unfortunately, I was very hurt and do not remember much of what happened. But Dharma was watching over me and I was found by the people of Shady Sands. I live here now. Have you spoken with Ian yet? He is a merchant who was hurt. He is recovering in the guardhouse over there. She points to the east. He's more widely traveled than I. Tell me about yourself. My life was very boring. I was raised in a vault. I lived there for many years. Unfortunately, we were crowded and life was very bad. There was a schism and many people left. Taking with them the best equipment. Still, some of us tried to stay in the vault. But then we were attacked. I was hurt and I ended up here. Now I try to help people. Well, that's all for now. Thanks. I'm wondering if there are options. Oh, that background when that panel slides away. All those vacuum tubes and shit. Um... I wonder if there are options for a uh, text scroll. Weird that it does that automatically. Oh, there you go. Oh. Thought it was a little quiet, to be honest. War never changes. <laughs> they made it the thing. War never changes. War, 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 war,
never changes. Cool. Oh yeah. We'll put on some RP RP walking. shuffling around. I got nothing to say to you, stranger. Alright, let's go talk to Aradesh. I mean, that's like the first rendered conversation. I think this is Town Hall. Yeah, and voiced. Late, come back in the morning, but I need your help. Are you hurt? Yes? Great Brahmin, why didn't you say so? I did. You're barely hurt, you wimp. Come back in the morning. <laughs> All right. Day-night cycle? And I don't think you can pass time for free. I think you have to spin laps on the map or, or sleep somewhere, I think. But that costs money. So it's like you either have to pay money or just expose yourself to random encounters. Greetings. Oh! Your business in Shady Sands might be... Might be... Oh, options. Flying Grayson, thanks for the sub. Love throwing on your streams when I'm making game clips for work. Makes during a premiere for hours a little more enjoyable. Thanks for the vibes. I'm glad to provide them. I am the, uh, I'm the spoonful of sugar that helps your workday go down. Damn, let's see here. Should I be honest? I don't remember, I don't remember, like, the information you reveal. Oh, you have weight in your Pip-Boy. Oh, I didn't know that. Okay, cool. What's it to you? It is my town, Wanderer. You must answer my questions or leave. This is not a matter of choice. His expression changed. How cool is that? It's, it's so interesting, and in, even in games like Cyberpunk, that sort of used a locked off, and I guess, I guess Starfield, but honestly more Cyberpunk because it has such a curated background to all of the major conversations in the game. And then also a reliance on, like, acting out the conversation, or uh, trying to emote in response, in response to what the player's doing. Yes. It's got expression tech in 97. Yeah, this game is technically impressive. This backdrop is so cool. Ooh. All right. I mean you no harm, really. Yes. Mm, yes, yes, yes. I shall believe you for now. But we do not trust easily, especially those who might be dangerous. Know that Seth and I will be watching you. Hi. I heard there was a traveler in town, but I was kind of skeptical until I saw you. My name's Tandy. What's yours? Oh my God, I forgot about Tandy. <sighs> like, all right. Spotty memories flooding back. You can like take her with you to, to try to take out the raiders, but she can die. I remember that being pretty, pretty impressive for an RPG that like it's they kind of set her up to be endearing to the player, of course, but I remember that being pretty cool. Well, how do you like our little town? Bored yet? I guess it's okay. Yeah, well, you don't live here. There's nothing interesting to do. And believe you me, Brahma tipping gets old real fast. That seems nice and safe here. Yeah, real safe. And so boring, I think my brain's gonna leak out of my ear at any moment. Why don't you leave? Me? Leave? I wish. I don't know enough to leave alone. No one else wants to go. Worst of all, my father says he would have a heart attack if something happened to me. Tough situation. Can I ask you a few questions, though? Sure, I guess. I've never been out of here, so I don't know what help I can be. So, what you need? <laughs> it's so weird hearing these voice lines. Like, the ones that are at the, the sort of, like, the root of the conversation directory, the ones that it, I've heard a lot back when I had these conversations the first time. Just like all the intonations and stuff are still there. Ugh, spooky. There's a bunch of cities down south, but since you're such a great traveler, I'm sure you know that already. 
I mean, even in the show, when they use Inkspot songs, like I can hear the specific, the maybe that like breaks and starts skipping in the intro to the game. I was like, mm, that was the one. No problem. Anything else? What's going on around here? We got rad scorpions. I mean, I know it's not a good thing, but no one's died from the stings. And it's the closest thing to excitement we've got here. Heard any stories from down south? Just stuff. No problem. Just stuff. Anything else? How do you like it here? Yeah, it's okay, I guess. I mean, it is home and all. Oh, yeah. But it's so boring. You know, I want to see the world. Me? Leave? I wish. Sure, I guess. I've never been out of here, so I don't know what help I can be. So, what you need? Well, thanks for talking. We don't get many strangers here, so it's always good to talk to new people. Well, see ya. See ya. Bye, weirdo. Mm, yes, 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 yes. Greetings. What may I help you with this fine day? I'll try to not piss him off this time. Tell me about Shady Sands. Shady Sands is much like a family, one that keeps to itself. Hmm. What kind of things do you have around here? The gardens are on the south side. The Brahma pens are north. Although the smell is, I fear, quite intense this time of year. Anything else? We are small and self-sufficient, so there is little else to tell. Can I ask a few more questions? Certainly. What do you wish to know? What can you tell me about the other towns around here? Junktown lies south of here. Oh, Junktown! Way of visitation. From stories, I'm certain there are cities south of that. Certainly. What do you wish to know? What's going on around here? Oh my, yes. Great packs of rad scorpions are killing our herds. We don't know where they're from, and no matter how many we kill, there's always more. Go on. And now the monsters are attacking my people. Roslo is trying to find a cure for their poison. Roslo! But I'm not sure how it goes. I can help you for a price. As Dharma said, those who tend their own flock know the shepherd. I know it's hard for you to trust, but I would like to help. Mm, yes, 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 yes. Please, talk to Roslo. Talk to Roslo. He possesses far more information on these creatures than I. Yes, 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 yes. Talk to Roslo. Wait, is it brighter? Does time pass while you're on a map? I thought you had to go out to the... I don't know anything. I don't know anything. Mm, yes, 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 yes. Talk to Roslo. These performances are great! This is like ultra high caliber voice acting, especially for the, like, for 97? Damn it. And here's the fun part of Fallout 1, as NPCs standing in doorways that are one person wide. I think Fallout 2, you could shove people, make them move, but in Fallout 1, you wait. I remember one time kind of like checking out a place. And, uh, I don't think I, can I take that? I don't know if that's stealing. I mean, if, oops! How did I do that? How did I do that instead of save? Well, whatever. Talk to Roslo. How did I do that? <laughs> oh. well, at least it's day. Wait, my health is back. What? Do you do you heal when you're just traveling? In the open world? Huh. I know that. Don't see your kind often? Why not? Shady Sands don't need your kind from the hub or junk town or wherever you come from. We do pretty good by ourselves. Last trader from the hub sold us a malfunctioning irrigation pump. We've had it with your dirty deeds. <laughs> Got it all wrong. I'm not like that. Yeah, right. So you say, just don't get into any trouble, okay? Yeah, whatever. That's the traitor. Think you can hire him? Can 
Yeah, get lost. Scram. Hello, stranger. You look like you're new here. What's your name? I'm Burnt. Good to meet you. I'm Ian. What do you do here? I was a guard for merchants of the hub. However, I was shot during a raid by bandits. I've been staying here since the people have helped me recover. Still, my knowledge of the outside world and my experience make me useful here. Shady Sands is my home now. Occasionally, I even get to visit Junktown or the hub and do some trading since I'm the only person here who's ever really left town. Hmm. Where's this hub and junk town? Hub is a big trading center far south of Shady Sands. It's run by several different caravan groups of merchants. The water merchants, the Crimson Caravan, and the Fargo Traders. Junktown is a little south and a ways east, ways west, excuse me. It's smaller, but still a good place to go and drop in for a drink. It's overseen by a fellow by the name of Killian Darkwater, a local shopkeeper, sheriff, and mayor. Thanks. Look at all these things you can learn about. I hear you, Bill. Yeah. I mean, I I didn't think I wanted to play through this game again, but now I think I might. Tell me about the raiders. Let's see, there are three groups of raiders. The cons, the vipers, and the jackals. They pretty much hate each other, but they all raid Shady Sands. Tell me more about Shady Sands. Why are the rad scorpions trouble? Very dangerous. They have a poisonous stinger in the tail. And they are very quick. Aradesh has been trying to find a way to get rid of them. If you feel brave, talk to Aradesh about them. All right. I think I might need to do the Aradesh conversation again. I think you can fix the water pump too? A crude but effective turlet. There are some leaves dropped into the hole to manage the odor. Yeah, New Vegas is a real quirky game. <laughs> The community patches and stuff make it mostly playable, as long as you save a lot. I think I think everybody learns that pretty quickly. It just takes one really, it just takes one crash to really sting. After wandering around on an individual floor of a vault for a long time. Hey, Mercy! Thank you for the raid. Hold on a minute. Whoa. Do a little shout out here. How's it going, everyone? We're in the, uh, we're deep in the classics today. Hi. I heard there was- Well, at sure, I guess there's a bunch- No problem. We got rad- There's a bunch- No problem. Just stuff. No problem. Yeah. You live your uh -oh. life and see how you like it. I made her mad. Anything else you want to know? Yeah, that's okay. Me? Leave? Sure, I guess. Well... Greetings. Your business in Shady Sands might be- I'm a small village west of here. I'm just exploring and mean you no harm. I know of no village to the <laughs> west. So? <laughs> it is my town, wanderer. You? Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. yes. I shall believe. Greetings. Talk to Roslo. Yes, certainly. What? Junk town. La certainly. Junk town. Certainly. Junk, sir. Junk, sir. Junk, certainly. Oh, my. And now the monsters are attacking my... Mm, yes, 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 yes. Please talk to Roslo. He possesses. Mm, yes, 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 Scout handbook. I did it. Hell yeah. Learn a lot more about wilderness survival. Yeah, the Dune soundtrack? Nothing says deserts like a lone flute going hoo I don't think there's ever anyone going yeah. <laughs> that would kind of complete it, wouldn't it? This is more solitary desert, though.
This pillar is the showpiece of the Shady Sand Square that tells stories to remind of the people of hope and peace. Can I help you? What do you know about rad scorpions? Not too much. They seem to be extremely large versions of the North American or Nor North American Emperor Scorpion. Contrary to my medical knowledge, their poison has grown more potent. Not diluted as I would expect. Seth has been hunting them, which helps some of my tests. And how such large creature can even be possible by natural evolution or even radiation induced mutation is beyond me. You seem well educated. What are you doing here? Doc Morbid in Junktown taught me some, and just because we live in stone huts does not mean we are less intelligent or educated. Have a nice day. <laughs> is that is that Roslo? I don't think that's Roslo. Anything else? They seem sensitive to light. Nocturnal, if I could get a sample of their... Poison, especially the venom production sack located in their tail, I could create an anti venom. Aha! I see your tattered novels, though. Okay, they give you a warning if it counts as theft. Do not do that. Sonic breaking news! Keanu Reeves, wait a minute. Oh no. I mean, oh yes. Keanu Reeves joins Sonic 3 as Shadow. So cool. So cool. So cool. Do you think they're going to do like a Matrix thing in, sh in Sonic 3? Do you think Shadow's going to like hold up his hands and stop some rings or something? Sometimes when I am like walking around in, in the world we're in, you know, seeing like posters for Fallout or whatever. It kind of feels like it's a flash forward in a nerd movie that was made in the 90s, you know? When there's like Venom in theaters and fucking Keanu Reeves is playing Shadow the Hedgehog. It's like a joke. It's a joke that would be on a, like a Last Action Hero poster, but if Last, Last Action Hero was set in the 2020s. And yet it's real. Oh yeah, he's gonna have his, his motorcycle. Hell yeah, his arch motorcycle. So cool. It doesn't get cooler than that. All right, I think you can talk to Seth and have him take you to the Rad's corpse. And I might need to use a gun to kill them. Let me go ask if the other dude will follow me. I might have enough charisma to convince him to come with me to kill the Rad's corpse. Can you help me out a bit? Hmm. Tempting offer since the place gets boring. Tell you what, standard rate's 100 caps and you got a deal. How about a piece of the action instead? All right, I'll help you out in exchange for my share of loot. Let's go, it'll be good to get back into the action. <laughs> Idiot. You're gonna get nothing. I think you, don't you have to equip your party members with bullets? Like you have to keep them swimming in bullets or they won't be able to shoot, I think. Which gets really expensive. Still the case in Fallout 4? No shit. I thought I thought weapons had unlimited ammo when uh, followers were using them. Okay, save game. Can I be the Scorp King? Take me to the Red Scorpion Caves. Can't go, but I can show you the way. Yes. All right, folks. Gonna reset that. I thought it didn't change. I think they'd ever remake this or re release it. I think they have re released it. It's been a part of collections and stuff. As far as remaking or remastering, I don't know about that one. They would just make a new one. It is kind of surprising, though, uh, and, and in some ways violates the the mediaification of a franchise you're supposed to have a you're supposed to have a hot new thing a hot new remake ready to be sold alongside the game so 
the brand synergy lacking, but that's okay because the show was good. I can't do a targeted shot? You missed. Four action. Pretty sure they announced a new Fallout 4 DLC. I don't think they did. <laughs> There's a fan DLC that was put on a hold because they announced, I think, that they were finally going to release the next gen update to Fallout 4. I think is it. But that's not ready yet. <laughs> right click swaps attack modes. Do you see a targeted shot appearing? I guess you have to get that skill or something. I thought you could do that. It was ready, but Bethesda patched the game so the mod broke. No, I meant the, uh, in terms of being ready, I mean the, the next gen update. Got him. Yeah, because yeah, having a having a next gen update ready for Fallout 4, their most re recent kind of mainline Fallout game would be good. I guess 76 had a content update not too long ago. Okay. Look at us. Yeah. I feel like I want to do the Dragon's Dogma High Five. Oh yes, Rad Scorpion Tales. The first thing you can like try to carry and sell. Anyway. Oh, I, maybe I did take Fast Shot. I did. I didn't read the whole thing. I don't even have enough action points to shoot twice in a turn either. That sucks. Oh well. By DLC, they meant the free unreleased Creation Club content coming with the next gen update. Lul. Yeah. Yes. Yep. Also, the next gen update. Next gen update for Fallout 4. A game that came out in 2015 is going to launch about four years after this gen started. Yeah, so next gen that there's already going to be another upgraded console that they won't have an update for. <laughs> They're like, their update for the PS5 Pro is going to land like a month before the PS6 comes out. Or they'll work on it that long and then decide that it's just not worth releasing anymore. Let's see here. AHP. Oh, hell yeah. Look at all these bullets I got. Look at all those bullets. There's no way I'll ever shoot that many bullets at anything. I'm done. Done. I got two red scorpion tails and a hundred bullets. The game's over. Enclave, I'm coming for you. All up for crashes on startup for me, and the issue is automaton. What? What's automaton? Dang, I'm actually kind of cheesed. I can't do targeted attacks. Is that for the whole game? Is there any way to remove a perk? I don't think there is. Or a trait. Excuse me. Oh, is it DLC? <laughs> Great. Not too late to restart. You're right about that. You'd have to restart. Hmm. Boy, we really are playing Fallout, huh? You have to restart like five times? <laughs> Yeah, I don't have targeted shots. That's no fun. 
All right, well. Like this, this, I could make this build work if I had one more action point, but I don't know how long I have to level to get another stat. It's a while. It's a while. Oops! You can shoot your team members. Perks every three levels? Well, perks. I guess you can get a perk that raises your stat, but that's pretty rare. I remember what that target does. If you hit, like, any of the number keys? I think it's like, yeah, it's the, it's like quick, quick slots for the skills. Anyway. New game. <laughs> We'll go the bird this time. Bird. Bop, 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 bop. All right. Not taking fast shot. I think one-handed then was what I what I picked to go through most of the game. guy. Love you, Overseer. You're the best. Ah. Alright. Time to clear out these rats again. You know what time it is. Ooh. But now I can I can target, precisely target the rats, you see. Yeah, these rats are goners. Ah, now that I can precisely target their groin area. Hold on. Carve them up. Yes, the rat groin. 49%. Acha! Oh, missed. Go for those rat balls again. Huh. Ooh, missed. Ooh, missed again. Oh, okay. You're gonna, boy, you're gonna regret that when I go for those balls. Ooh, missed again. Uh. Oh. Okay, we're gonna go for those balls again. We're gonna go for them again. Here we go. Mm, missed. Okay. Whew. That was a close one. Took a lot of hits there. A lot of hits, a lot of damage. Okay, this rat is unawares. So, I have free reign to stab it directly in the dick. Missed! Missed again. Back up. Okay. Ah. Okay, if I make him move three spaces, he can't attack. Good! Groin attack. Successful. Now we're kiting. I'm kiting a rat and trying to slash at its balls. Yes! Cave rat was hit in the groin for six hit points and was killed. That's gaming, folks. That's what it looks like. You may not have witnessed gaming in your life before, but that's what it is. What's the difference between swing and thrust? A groin thrust? Does that do more damage? Two hit points? Damn it!
This is what I restarted for. Ugh. Four hit points. Fuck! There. Got him. Ugh. Stressful. Interest in the Final Fantasy 16 crossover event in 14. It ends around the start of May. Oh, is it already is it already happening? Yeah, I need to dust off my 14 account. It would be fun to do uh do some catch up before Dawn Trail. Get all my crafting up. Started early April. Well, shucks, I'm behind the times. What's uh what what activity is it? Is there a new content? Quests, you do a primal fight with Clive, a little extra mechanic. That sounds fun. I gotta check that out. Yeah, and that's that'll be a, a stream project soon, is getting the VR thing set up and picking a real D Gen day to just spend it all in in VR. There's a large amount of rat feces in the area. Get me a spoon. Guys, it's the wasteland. You gotta get weird out here, okay? Oh no! I'm gonna get bit. J for show. Oh! E. Thanks for the. <clears throat> thanks for the 24 months of subs. Excuse me. Thank you for giving me the option to show off my elocution skills. Nasty boy, I agree. This is definitely one of those games that really can only be played on a PC. I think there's probably ways to adapt it. Wasteland 3 is is on a console. It's not necessarily a comfortable fit, but it's there. And I think now there are people on console that have the tolerance for that sort of thing. Yeah, there could be an adaptation to this, but... Fallout 64. Let's just fall out three. All right. <clears throat> I think I've cleared the way to the exit. Uh, unless there's another rat down here. Which means I can double back for maximum H XP harvest station, which is what I need. Games like uh, Diablo 3 really did tons and tons and tons for making like fixed camera 3D isometric games really playable on a controller. I think you could adapt this pretty directly. I don't know that that ad adaptation would be very popular <laughs> because there are there are other newer versions of this game. Um, Under Rail, Wasteland 3. Um, Evil West, I feel, or er, Weird West, excuse me. Kind of has some of the spirit. And it is a little more, like, directly controlled, not necessarily all point and click. If I could turn off all combat and follow one or two, I would enjoy them more. Yeah, and that's, I think, where the game becomes a lot more playable on a controller. 
If it's just exploring, looting, talking to NPCs, uh, and resolving quests. <laughs> when do we get 3D Arcanum? Jesus Christ. Dishonored is probably as close as it gets, right? That was borderline steampunk. But it's not really... Like, Arcanum was almost open world. Okay, I need to just do one slash and then retreat. Uh, he's gonna get a chomp on me. Maybe not. I gotta admit, I'm kind of excited for Diablo 4 Season 4. I finally did a, found all the Lilith statues and stuff. Are you actually making a challenge for this? No, Paul. I have, I have in fact, already made it to Shady Sands. Which is when I discovered a, a build trait I took that I didn't actually want, so I had to start the game over. But I have passed the Impossible Gamer Challenge already, because of course I have. But I'll do it again! After farming all these rats for XP. Shit. They tricked me. Oh, that was, that was creepy. Damn it! There we go. I'm doing my vault a favor by clearing all these rats out. They're gonna they're gonna hail me as a hero soon enough. you 2 HP I'm going for it yes the heart of a warrior the pride of a champion Is there another rat down here all right let's get out of here let's go to shady seats I'll get all my health back along the way surely there won't be something weird nothing weird happens in fallout Okay, let's go to Shady Sands. Click. Deathclaw, come on. My luck set isn't one. <sighs> I think Fallout 2 was the game really that had the, the one int run where there was a lot of stuff kind of written for that, but I could be wrong. Happened before, will probably happen again. I get to talk to Ar Arabesh again. Oh, shit. Fuck. I mashed through text and now I'm fighting this guy. Hey, y'all. Oh, did I? Oh. Ay-ya! Bro. Just because a dude pulled a knife on me. Now they're all mad. Don't worry. I'm sorry, Seth. Gotta shoot you in the groin. Oh, missed. So, okay. F5 is load. I'll have to be very careful about the buttons I hit. Uh, yeah. Immediately mouthed off to a dude who was already in a bad mood. But yeah, you can do that. In 1997, 
You can go to the first town and kill everyone if you really want to. And the game can continue. 97, man. All right. Oh, yeah, my weapon. Shit, thank you. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Greetings. Your business in Shady Sands might be... All right, I'll be honest. Wanderer. From a vault. I shall believe you for now. You may enter Shady Sands, but be warned, your every move will be watched. Certainly. What do you wish to know? Junk Town lies certainly. Oh my, and now the monsters are a... Mm, yes, 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 yes. Please, talk to Roslo. Talk to Roslo. I don't know if this game cues off of, off of like, conversation dialogue that you picked. You know? Like, does the game acknowledge that I've t talked to somebody or said a particular thing in other conversations? Hmm. Alright, let's go talk to the... What's her name? Talk to Roslo. Yes, Shady Sands. We're here. Hi. I heard there was a traveler in town, but I was kind of skeptical until I saw you. My name's Tandy. What's yours? Let's be a little brash this time. My name is Bird. Remember it. Well, how do you like our little town? Bored yet? There's nothing to do around here but watch the Brahmin mate. Finally! Someone else who sees! Of course, you've probably been everywhere, so this... This must be hell for you. Me? Leave? I wish. I don't know. Sure, I guess. There's a bunch of suit. No problem. Same as always. Same, 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 same. Just stuff. No problem. Just stuff. No problem. Yeah, it's okay, I guess. Yeah, real safe. And so boring, I think my brain. Sure, I guess. Well. Bye, Tandy. <sighs> Talk to Roslo. Okay. All right. Need a sample, create a cure. Guess I'll go take this book again. Nice looking bed. I do love the like vases and bowls and random things that were on the back, like everything that was on a pre-rendered shelf. Various rounded household objects that were basic in their geometry, but still conveyed the the iconography of indoor living. Lulu. What type of soda are you drinking? It's not a soda. It's protein water. Alana actually turned me on to these. It's they're like they're caffeinated uh, protein waters. It's got 15 grams of protein for 70 calories. No sugar. And it's got caffeine and caffeine and L-theanine. It's got whey protein in it. So I basically use it as a, a very lean way to space out meals. What's it called? Protein 2O. Not sponsored. But they if if you're listening, anyone who works at Protein 2O. Yeah, the most California thing, right? Hey, I'm not taking Ozempic, alright? Caffeinated, low calorie water. That's the real shit. And it has protein in it, so it actually has some kind of nutrition. For raw eggs in a bottle? Mmm. Some just a big slurpy gulp of egg whites. A bird. Talk to Roslo. Come on, gotta talk him into for a piece of the action. Oh he didn't even need convincing. I just tried it once that time. I think I have even more perception. Okay. Now we do scorpions. Alright, we got a buddy. We got a buddy and he's got a gun. So do we. 
We're gonna load up on rad scorpion tails and random bullets. We're gonna have our we're gonna have ourselves a time. And I'm gonna shoot these rad scorpions in the eyeballs. Because I am a Fallout master. Yeah, in terms of diet stuff, for me honestly, it's it's been a whole game of like finding the part the like times in the day when I can distract myself or extend the times that I eat. And then also finding low calorie things that I can reliably work into my daily routine to to kinda extend the gap between eating. So I end the day with lower calories. Nice. I love that reload sound effect. Can't wait to see what Shady Sands was like. Ooh, just missed it. It's like four buildings. <laughs> That's it. There's a, there's like a, a Brahmin pen. Ooh, close one. Look at these experience points though. How was everybody's weekend? Got my first Creed song done in karaoke. Nice. Mine was real good. Spent a lot of time with Steph. We watched the rest of the, the Fallout series, which is why I'm playing this now. Uh, Watched some trash reality TV. I did, a, I did more stream backend work. Worked out all the kinks with my new alerts and, and assets and things. The transitions I have now are a bit of an encoder load, but I think I've more or less sussed that out. Uh, I feel like there weren't as many bullets this time, just hanging around. Oh. What trash reality are you watching? Steph's just kind of ticking, ticking her way through the Bravo-verse now. Now it's Summer House. <laughs> summer House. It's basically just like New York yuppies being dramatic. Oh yeah, look at us. Look at us tag teaming this scorpion. Oh, this is teamwork, buddy. Yes. But anyway, everyone gets drunk and yells at each other. Same old shit. Um, oh no, I've seen Love is Blind. Absolutely. That's a fun one. On this particular show, they uh, there is a dude who actually like entered AA. Discovered that he had uh, addictive tendencies and like meditates and shit now to try to, to try to stay sober. So that's interesting. That's a path I don't often see. Usually it's just a decline into alcoholism. And then like... Oh shit, I got poison. Fuck. Part of the part of the fun is to see as like as a show goes on in seasons. How uh how heavy drinking can just take such a physical toll on people. And they have to keep it up because it's their job. So, it's, a, it's definitely a swirl that people seem to get, get caught in. Yeah, I remember just dumping everything into small guns. Like getting small guns to like 120, 150% off the top so then I could actually shoot things. The thing is like having higher skill is also kind of important from an economic standpoint. If you're, if you're wasting a lot of ammo not hitting what you're shooting at, you're not doing damage. Uh oh. Mm. I said I got poisoned. Oh, poisoned. Poison will do damage over a period of time until it's cured or it passes from your system. All right. Hello, Klingon. How you doing? Uh, I see that ads are running now. It's a good time to take a quick break. I'll be right back.
this could affect half the continental United States. The night they warned us about. Now well, we're starting to see some problems. What if they're right? My God. Demonstrate the evacuation. The survival of millions hangs in the balance. We lost this puppy. Go, everybody out! Just tell yourself it's only a movie. And now, Y2K the movie. How about this? I've inverted the string bend so that the note actually goes down when you bend it. Sounds weird, but it's actually a very useful and interesting effect. Everything you've heard, all the hold and capo features, tunings, transpositions and patch changes, everything can be stored in one of 99 memories in the console and recalled using the optional Synthax automation system. This is what I've been using throughout the demonstration to change between synthesizers, tunings and sounds. Hopefully the poison will just... It's probably not that bad. Just a little sting here and there. Ooh. Yeah, having a high gun stat too means that you can... You can like hit enemies from further away and then... Hit them the entire time they're running towards you too. So you'll get like three or four free attacks at the start of combat versus melee enemies at least. using it on him or giving it to him? Oh, that's right. You don't have you don't have free access to their inventory. Yeah. Oh wait, do you? No, he makes you pay for it. <laughs> that's right. Well, I mean I Oh, you can steal from them without consequence. I didn't know that. That's a good trade. Steal. You have to succeed. Neato. Huh. Okay, he'll accept a trade without payment. Okay. Excuse me. I remember there being some angle to it. I'm gonna shoot this rad scorpion in the eyes. Oosh. Nice. Serious wound is inflicted. Yeah, the uh, the targeting makes it so that you can do things like shoot people's arms so they can't hold guns. It's super, super cool. Shoot their eyes so they can't see. Lowers their accuracy. It's kind of how you can get certain boss fights. I remember I basically had to like save scum to get an eye shot early in a fight. And then it became, oh yes, I would like to know that I'm not in my 4x3. Thank you. <coughs> Yeah, you'd have to get like an eye shot early. And then uh and then the rest of the fight could play out normally. Got him. Gain 500 experience points for stopping the rad scorpions. Everything's going great. Pick up 
all the... Did I get this one? I did. Now, I don't think I picked up as many bullets. I don't know if they were... I just missed them? Or they didn't appear this time? Yes, that's my companion. That's Ian the Traitor. Ian the Traitor. He's not a very complicated character. I think it's because he's like the first one you get. He follows you for free. Um, he's generally helpful. He usually dies. Yeah, here we go. Yeah. I just use Ian as a meat shield. Yep, that's his personality. I just didn't pick those up. Okay. I have become the Scorpion King. Looks Egyptian? So anyway, Shady Sands. It looks a bit different, doesn't it? So I guess, so from here I can either go to the bandits, go to the bandit camp or go to vault 15. I think, well, I guess I can, I need to, to sell these scorpion tails, but uh, Ian has locked me inside. <clears throat> Vault 15 has more rats. Yeah, I think I need to go to Vault 15. Because I remember going to... Uh... Yeah, it's hot out here. It's hot in this toilet that you've locked me inside. I remember going to the bandit camp first. In my first playthrough. And thinking that that was what I was supposed to do. So I safe scummed my way through that. But from that, I had like an SMG and really good armor. And a lot of caps. Bro, you've got to move. Oh. Okay. You can't push companions in Fallout 1. Unless you can, and I'm just not doing it. I think there was another... There was another screen, wasn't there? Yeah. Okay. Welcome to Shady Sand, stranger. What's the deal with this place? We are a true community. We all work and share together. How do you survive? We have farms and irrigation. We heard Brahmin. Everyone contributes their skills to making something useful. Okay. Pretty straightforward. Oh. Hello. This would look better in the daytime. Yeah, Brahmin. Ooh. Is this... I don't know if you can do this in Fallout 1. Like, if you're low... Oh, my gun is still out. Shit. If you're low enough intelligence, can you have... You can con converse with animals? Moo. 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 Well, do you have any idea what to do next? Stirbud, thanks for the cheer. Thank you for the moo. As far as what to do next, I was just sizing that up, actually. I think Vault 15. Um, and somebody's asking, uh, oh, Borg Ninja, am I raw dogging or is this modded? So it's the good old games version called Fallout Classic. Um, and that comes with a visual patch pre-installed. The only other thing I'm doing, which actually is, is kind of new, is using a program called Lossless Scaling. Um, so that's like, that's the normal resolution of the game. And then I just have it scaled up to full screen, uh, which is the exact thing I wanted. Because if you boost the resolution of the game, it reduces the relative size of all the assets and stuff since it's 2D screens and stuff like that. So I wanted it to look like Fallout did 
which is 800 by 600. But also not run full screen because that just plays havoc with PCs these days. Holy cow. Uh, so somebody said there was a weight in the pit boy. Yeah, here we go. Oh, yeah. Sheesh. Forgot about this. Six hours. There we go. Am I still poisoned? I wonder. I'm not. Great. Oh yeah, I need to take a I need to take a gland back to Raslo. That's right. Talk to Roslo. I think I was playing Grand Theft Auto 3. <laughs> no, that was after this. Yeah. Always reminded me of Laszlo. Laszlo. didn't work so I guess and also I think I failed the the steel there we go I guess he was moving all right let's see here I have a sample of the red scorpion poison can you do something with it let me see the sack yes I can do something with this take this as a free sample it seems to work well against red scorpion stings of course but it shows much potential as a general anti-venom and poison cure and then yeah, 250 experience points for helping make the antidote. This game is interesting too because it kind of... Like it puts everything in the log and just sort of expects you to follow that. So, Fallout 3 definitely got a lot better with the the thing that Bethesda is kind of best at, which is the RPG video game feedback. XP meters popping up and level ups and things like that. Man, the scaling of this building is really cool. I don't think I ever used that book. Okay. Arbesh is probably really excited about that. Ardesh? Arbesh? Arbesh is... Excuse me. I felt that one coming on. But boy, am I glad. Boy, am I glad it's out. Um, Arbesh is Star Wars, right? Ardesh. Things are much more settled now. Raslo has been working on a cure for the Rad Scorpion poison. And with that, we should be able to fight what's left of them. You don't need to worry anymore. I destroyed the nest. You are truly a hero. Truly. Know that the people of Shady Sands are most grateful. I ask you a few more questions, Certainly. though. What do you wish to know? Ah, things are much more settled now. You are truly a... Certainly. Junk Town. Certainly. What do... All right. Uh... Hmm. What is that? Rock? I guess it doesn't count as theft if they don't see you. And if they do, it seems like they'll warn you. That's the other thing is, uh, I remember some of the, L some of the, like, angle on this game was figuring out what you could loot and where the items typically were. Oh yeah, I should barter with him. I can probably sell him my excess knives and things. And yeah, I need to get a rope before I go to the next vault. Greetings. Greetings. Goodbye. Cool. Made some hot caps. Let me go talk to the doctor. I think the doctor might have some money or stims I could probably get.
Hacha. Okay. These are flares, I think? Yeah. Creates light for a short period of time. I don't think flares are useful at all. But I could be wrong. And then I get a... Oh, that's an antidote. Okay. Jesus. Wait. Hmm. All right, fine. Yeah, that's so awkward. <laughs> I guess I could... Let's see here. This is 173. Oh, there's no way it's worth it. Yeah. Oh. Chipping. All right. There. A little haggling. A little snaggling, a little haggling. Oh, flares help with accuracy in dark places. Oh, that's kind of interesting. Okay. This is... Well, so, <clears throat> the graphics have been patched, but not by much. Actually, the, it's like the widescreen patch. I'm not quite sure exactly what it does. It does make it so the game can render in widescreen. I just don't happen to be using that. So I think some of the graphic brush up would probably be like extending this to run the bottom of the screen. The rest of my scorpion tails. But I don't think the patch that, that the game comes with on good old games substantially like changes the way the game looks i think it just makes it functional i could be wrong about that though i say that a lot i feel like just assumed potentially being wrong is assumed when saying anything sometimes all right maximum caps extracted from the local doctor Tire Town is grateful to you for destroying the Rad Scorpions. Thank you. He's got that rope. 15. That's not bad. I'll offer you the severed scorpion tail. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, okay. That sounds good. Let's see here. I want to know about the raiders. One band to the southeast of here. Nothing else, thanks. Okay. Yeah, the currency is still caps, and they, they talk about that in the game. Okay. Let's go raid a vault, baby. Yeah, I don't think there's anything else. Oops. <laughs> what I was doing. There we go. Want to hear this music for a minute?
Nice. All right, Vault 15. A little shed. More rats. Hmm. Do I... I should not probably burn ammo on rats. Even though my partner is... I traded all my knives! Hmm. Well, I'm bound to find another one. I guess I'll be using bullets on rats then. Bullseye and Womp Rats. That's what I'm doing. Yeah, get in here, pal. Yeah, time to restart! I would basically use any non-optimal scenario to restart the game back when I played it the first time. It was honestly, also I was like so intimidated by going into unknown areas in the game that I preferred the familiarity of some of the areas I had already been through. And I was like, okay, just let me play through that part again. I know that part. I'm still getting used to the UI and the, the skills and things. I feel like I can handle that a little more capably. And then I can like try again. Oh, that's you playing Cyberpunk? It's really interesting sometimes. I feel like occasionally you get that game that is, that can be so maybe overwhelming. <clears throat> or maybe part of it is maybe you wanted to savor the experience. Three flares, baby. Peter is broken. It's not surprising. What the hell's that? There's something real big in there. Oh. Oh, Deus Ex? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I definitely replayed the, the like, opening Statue of Liberty thing multiple times before continuing on to the rest of the game. All right. See nothing out of the ordinary? Are you sure about that? What is I wanna what's the name of the enemy? Now nah, whatever. I'll see you soon. Oh Lesser Mole Rat. Okay. Summoning this creature to the great rat catcher in the sky. That was a very sad sound. But it was also a very large thing. Ugh. It's funny how like cartoonish gore has always been a thing in Fallout. It, it had a, a cutesier look when it, the camera's like really zoomed out and you have these Diablo style sort of pre-rendered animations. The bloody mess things of like dudes getting shredded from SMGs in this game are gnarly. Jeez, like Robocop style dudes just getting blown into chunks before hitting the ground. I'm just chewing through ammo. I wonder, is he out? He might be out of bullets, which is why he's not shooting. Nope, he's fine. Okay. Well, he's being, he's being measured, so I guess I appreciate that. Is there anything, not even be anything to loot in here. Yeah, broken computers. Oh, there's a shit. There's like a thing. Okay. Hmm. Yes, indeed. God damn it. He's standing in the doorway. Okay.
Oh, you're gonna bring back real life playing cards. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I forgot to turn that back on. Let me to do that now. Okay. Not easily descended without a rope. Good thing I could tell the future. In combat? Where'd my, where'd my dude go? Oh, there you are. All right, Kenobi has redeemed. A trading card from a new pack in addition to a... Wait, what? Oh, flip. What happened? Please tell me I still have my rope. Okay. Oh, oh. all right. All right. Okay. Let me arrange some things on my desk ever so diligently. Prepare for a card pack opening. A fresh pack. How many packs are left? Many. So here's the here's the sack of card packs. Now I am going to draw a random one from it. This random one. Uh soccer. Soccer trading cards. Free. Wilson's official major league soccer ball. Wow, we can get a free ball. From the Major Soccer League. Wow. Look at this. Look at all of these soccer players. Mark Metric. Ron Firon. Daryl Doron. Troy Snyder. Scott Manning. Michael King. G. Waters. Ted Eck. Billy Phillips, Brian Quinn, and Scoops, wait, nope, Scoop, S Scoop Stanisic, and Dale Irvine. Wow, what a lineup. What a lineup. Imagine being named Scoop. You have to be a goalie. That dude's got, like, extendo arms. He was born for it. Frickin' Scoop. All right. You're gonna win one of these cards. <laughs> yeah. A lot of a lot of high caliber players, just the the best of the best. Oh, Blargarific has redeemed a card. All right, hold on a minute. We'll get there. We'll get there. We'll get there. <laughs> All right, and the random card will be this one. This one. Ron Firon. Wasn't that the top one? What a card. He's got a real he's got a real bold stance there. It's like he's he's defending his home from invaders. Yep. Ron Fear on the goat. He's about to kill someone. He's about to murder someone on the field with his soccer playing prowess. Look at all these stats, though. Impressive, Ron. A goalkeeper for the Wings. Citizenship England. Last club, Wichita. Born 1960. Played the 89 to 90 year. The GOAT. The GOAT, Ron. The murderer. <laughs> Incredible. All right. Let me take that down. Monk Just, thanks for gifting a sub. All right, hold on. Put that over here. My main man, Ron. Ron is doing it again. Let's see. All right, Kenobi Corner. 
Here, let me actually, we're going to, we're going to bring up the radio. I always forget where I put the, put the thing. What? There it is. Spring time in LA, man. Let's draw a card. Let's draw the next card. Just had to keep my records up to pace. Uh, Blargerific. Here's your card. Thanks for watching. Yes, Keanu Reeves is voicing Shadow the Hedgehog. And yes, lol is the correct response. Lol. That's... What a world. How are we... Uh, just... Sometimes we get good things. Alright, here's your card. The M2 Bradley Tank. Freedom delivery vehicle. Lol. No, I'm, I'm very happy. I'm glad we get to live in this timeline. It's, it's good news and we needed it. The M2 Bradley fighting vehicle. The role of the M2 Bradley is to provide the infantry with a way to carry troops while allowing a quick exit for combat outside the vehicle. It's capable of traveling 41 miles per hour and weighs 50,000 pounds. Part of the Desert Storm series number 38, the M2 Bradley. Happy tax day, everybody. April 15th. We all own a piece of the M2 Bradley. So, but uh, Blargerific a little more than the rest of us. Yes, let's get back to it. Oh, Kenobi Corner. Thank you for gifting five subs. Damn, that music was starting to go off, huh? Reminded me of my main man, Shadow the Hedgehog. Am I right? I'm right. Playing FF8? No. We're playing the other hot game of the late 90s. Fallout 1. Fallout Uno. All right, let's let's go down into this dank cave, bro. You need to move. Shit. I'm grateful you're here. The extra the extra trigger hand is nice. Yeah, Keanu Reeves can do it all. Keanu Reeves can do it all. What I like is that he's clearly I mean he's clearly beyond the point in his career where he can choose whatever he wants to do. And he saw Shadow the Hedgehog and he said, yes. Okay, so. This. That must mean that the script is phenomenal. Successfully sling a rope into the elevator shaft. Can I use it now? Yes, I can. Alright, here we go. That's kind of the first wall, I feel like. Which is a strange thing to say, but again, for, for me as a JRPG playing baby... The fact that you can get here and, like, there's nothing smacking you over the head about the rope. You just have to investigate it and read that you need a rope. And then you have to go find a rope. 
I don't think it ever is a, uh, I don't think it's ever a dialogue option either with NPCs to specifically ask about a rope, but I could be wrong. I gotta stop saying that. Pig rat? Do they drop chunks? Nope, no chunks. I think the game is somewhat honest about not hiding too many things behind the perspective. Of make like making it so that you have to scrape an entire wall. There's another one. Just to find something hidden in the, the outline of your character. Toilet is broken. Definitely not usable if you're a woman. Somebody doubts... Is doubting the squat power of ladies in the wasteland. But Cave Rat critically missed and crippled her right arm. Aww. All right, cave rat. Let's come down to this. Oh crap. Nice. Yes, commenter. This is Fallout 1. 1997's Fallout 1. There's a lot of rats. Yowza. Bullets up here, though. See, like that item could have been here, but I, I think most of the time they, they avoid putting items in places that you obviously don't have line of sight to, which means I don't think I need to exhaustively clear out all of these rooms. Because I think you can just kind of look and see that there's not really a lootable thing. Here, standard design from a time before the war. Gotta go for it. Uh. Uh oh, am I out of bullets already? No? Okay. That reload didn't do anything. Here we go. Played this one that first came out. Yeah, me too. Remember the violence and dark humor being really unique? Plus seeing the... Brotherhood of Steel power armor for the first first time was so sick. Yeah, I think they knew they were onto something because the the power armor helmet is on the main screen. So it's interesting that that was always very strong iconography for Fallout. I guess there's not really a main character. Do I need another rope? I think I need two rope. There's ruined. Two rop. I need two rope, much like Vin Diesel's legendary character, two rop. Perhaps that's what uh, what Vin was referencing with that legendary character, Two Rop. <laughs> yeah, need another rope, I guess. That's annoying. <laughs> I, I kind of remember there being one on this floor somewhere. <laughs> hey, B. Arthur's shaft. 
Spend so much, so much of your childhood playing Fallout 1 and 2? I did too, now that I think about it. This game is not nearly as abrasive as I remembered. Oh yeah, Unfriendly Time Traveler, I did see old Cliffy B tweeting about law lawbreakers, lawgivers, lawbreakers. I feel like I feel like it's a it's a kinder time for a game like that than it than it was before. Yeah. Each level, this perk will increase your intelligence by one for purposes of dialogue only. But it's already nine, I think. Oh wait, intelligence? No, wait, intelligence isn't that. Maybe we can go with that. Presence is interesting. Earlier, well, awareness is... I like the more detailed information about him on examine. The idea of forbidden lore is very attractive. But I do like having dialogue options. I'm gonna go with that. Yeah. Ah. I shoot. Oh, well, yeah. Okay. I guess it's dark in here. Yeah, I've never, I've never uh, done a low intelligence playthrough of classic Fallout. I mean, I tried like Fallout Four, and and nothing like there was no acknowledgement of it at all. So that was kind of a bummer. But but I should have known better. Can't expect that. Oh oh oh! Hello, bird. Yeah, Fallout 2, I think, is is the the real one that has the low IQ run. Which I I think I want to do. I've never actually done that. Oh shit. <laughs> I have to go get another rope. Uh wait, did I ever I went in here? Or this is where the mystery bullets were. So I actually got trolled a little bit. Does Fallout 4 have a good low int run? I remember it not mattering at all. Oh, here we go. There we go. Oh yeah, and you get the Mad Max jacket. Jern love. Thanks for the sub sub. Yeah, armor class 13. Real cool. <clears throat> we double click okay damn it I think I can do it here the twirl. Dude, okay. Going deep down. More rats. Talking. This just in. More rats. Oh, this is a big one. The burp response in Vegas? Oh man, that's the best. It doesn't get better than that. Burping. A good burp, a, a well-timed burp and protest. Damn. 
can't hit it. There's a little hint of sadness there. Oh, that's a lot of rats though, damn. Yeah, big XP. I'm gonna be a small arms god by the time I leave this place. Hopefully Ian won't be chewed to death by rats. Okay. Big XP, you're right, 400 experience. God damn it, he's locked me in. He's locked me in. All right, kick back, folks. Ian's just decided to be friendly. It's the real danger of the wasteland. <laughs> there we go. Oh. 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 Okay, there we go. There we go. Ooh. Lockers. These are problem-solving utilities. Oh, you get the SMG here. Hell yeah. I thought he did it again. Hey, Tugs. Coachella ended yesterday. What would your outfit be if you went to one? <sighs> I don't know, man. I don't think I have very fashionable or cool looking stuff. I don't think I really have anything that I wouldn't like I'd be excited to wear. If that makes sense. So it'd probably just be like a graphic tee and jeans or something, something comfortable. Oh, I'm pretty sure we partied shirt. That's yeah, that could work. I don't know, though. That's, like, just going graphic tee. Oh, sure, I could have an ironic graphic tee, but I feel like... Oh, there's still a rat up there. I feel like that's not that exciting. Yeah, I need to... I need to find my... wrestling outfit. I don't have it. I left it behind at, at Funhouse. And now I hope that it's still around. That, like, vinyl... hooded... sleeveless jacket... was the coolest thing ever. Yeah, hopefully it's on a... I mean, there was like a... We had a couple of clothing racks that everybody would just stuff everything onto. So I assume it's it was on one of those. I'm pretty sure that's where I left it. So. Yeah, hopefully it's still there. I don't know. Maybe I'll get the chance to go back and raid it. I guess technically that's that's Warner Brothers property. Warner Brothers owns the rights to the troll. I'm wondering. I mean, I'm, I've been making some fitness strides lately. It would be fun to, to try to get back in the back in the game, but 
if I were to even try that, like, significantly, I'd, it would mean that I'd stream a lot less. Like, a lot, lot less. Because there'd be no way that I'd, I'd be able to, like, become a proficient pro wrestler on just one, like, one class a week. Especially at my age. My experience level. Russell Crowe stole stuff from every movie he ever worked on, and when he got divorced, he auctioned it all off to pay his ex-wife instead of giving her alimony. Smart businessman. Would you be interested in an embarrassing gamers.txt reddit post about Helldivers 2? Yes. Yes, I would be. Not Wrestle Crow. <laughs> Professional Wrestle Crow. Alright, hold on. Got a prime shit post here. Got some good shit posting. Let's see here. Already thick R36 Eruptor is an abomination and smell wokeism from a mile. Whoever designed R36 Eruptor has no idea how real world firearms looks and operates. I'm pretty sure this person has many flags in bio and strong political interests, but no knowledge or interest related to firearms or shooters. The Eruptor has bolt handle at the front of the rifle and uses a rotation bolt action. The bolt handle is the part of the bolt located behind the barrel and responsible for chambering and locking a new cartridge. The most feasible forward place for the bolt handle is above the front end of the magazine and it is typical for bullpup sniper rifles such as the Desert Tech SRS. Eruptor resembles HKG-36, but that is a semi-auto slash full-auto rifle. The bolt handle of Eruptor is located in place of the pusher rod of G-36 and this part pushes the bolt carrier back to cycle the gun. This is technically impossible to rotate the bolt by rotating some kind of a rod that is located in the far front and above the bolt. It is nonsense beyond recognition. The magazine of Eruptor is curved. Most assault rifles have curved magazine because the cartridges are a little conical and the cartridges are conical to aid in the chambering of the rounds and extracting the empty case. The Eruptor uses jet propelled grenades, essentially small rockets. Such a racket does not require a cartridge case, like for example, the gyro, gyro jet ammunition. A conical rocket would get stuck in the barrier or be unable to stabilize, meaning it would be inaccurate. Magazine for small rockets would be straight, like in the case of the gyro jet. The Eruptor does not need an ejection port because it fires a small rocket that does not require a cartridge case. No cartridge case, no need for an ejection port, unless you want an extra filth to get into you rifle and make it jam. Arrowhead. It looks like your HR department is compromised by woke commies. First the CM, and then it's the design that smells wokeism from, for a mile. Get your stuff together. Embarrassing. Embarrassing on behalf of Arrowhead, I think. To force... To force this fine young gentleman to post... Uh, to share their experience and expertise with everyone. Thank you, very cool. Thank you, very cool. Bruce needs to read it. That is a Bruce Reads. That for sure is a Bruce Reads. Man. Yeah, it's been a while. It's been a while since we've had a good... A good internet post. Uh oh. Just too woke. This is what happens. The Wokies came for our guns. I mean, it is kind of great replacement theory, but just for woke, right? It's now woke taking over everything. They've infiltrated everywhere to spread their insidious message. Trying to trying to shape culture in their image. Wokies don't understand guns, though, because guns are the totem of, of the unwoke. 
Oh, wait a minute. I don't think I went in here. Luckily, Fallout 1 isn't woke. This was back before woke existed. At the time, I think it was called political correctness. PC. You PC, bro? At South Park, I think it just started. <laughs> Around the, the time of Fallout. And we both we have both of them still, which is weird. Oh, free book. First aid. I really like playing this game back in the day. There's no way in a million years I would ever think it would become like a world property, like a world brand. Same year? Awesome. What a year, man. The late nineties was was a a pretty pretty amazing consumer art renaissance. And then boy did it go to shit in the aughts, but that's how it that's how it goes sometimes. The hot streak can't last forever. So I think this is really all there is to do in, in Vault 15. You just come down here, loot a bit. Another thing that's interesting is I don't think, unless I'm just completely missing it, I don't think there's any big thing in the game saying, like, there's nothing else here. Go away. You just have to start exploring. But you get a better gun and you get some armor. Early 2000s was something. It was. It's funny because that would be what I would think would be described as a very unwoke era. And it was trash. Jesus Christ. It was so bad. It's cringy to go back to. That sort of like male gaze, extreme, limp biscuit shit. Attitude era. Well, attitude era is fun, but you know what I mean. I'll take the, like, the, even the phony progressive vibes of the mid-90s over that any day. Oh, it updated your log with there is no water chip in this vault and gave you 500 XP. Oh, I missed that. Okay, so there was a little dingle. Stared at a lot of, oh, here we go, yeah, yeah. The rest of the vault in this direction had Delicote equipment that has probably been ruined and destroyed. There's a very low chance of anything remaining of value. Mm -hmm. You were able to determine. I like how it, it reads to you, like a DM telling you the results of a, of a stata or a die roll. You were able to determine that the command and the control center is definitely buried under even more rock. You will have to look for the water chip elsewhere. And 500 XP. And what is this? Oh. Tactical girlfriend? Getting all slathered up? A biscuit age like fine wine though? Yeah, the, I mean, the, some of the, some of the works, some of the zeitgeist defining works were not bad. I like, I like early Linkin Park a lot. Even if it does, um, coincide with angry white boy vibes, which I was at the time. Might have something to do with it. That was a response to mention jacking off with gun lube or something like that. <laughs> Monkey neuron activated. All right. Well. Now I can, I think you can just go to the raider camp and fuck them up if you feel like it. Um, or I had generic, res I had generic instructions to junk town. Which actually, hold on. Let's see here. Directions to hub and junk town. Hub is a big trading center south of Shady Sands. Formed by several different caravan groups. Junk town is south and a ways west. Okay. 
So I'll just go south from Shady Sands. Um, yeah, I don't have a reason to go back to Shady Sands, really. Oh, it actually filled it in on the map now. I guess I hadn't asked him that before. A lone traveler in the distance. Hello, lone traveler. Brings you out this far. I need to find a water purification control chip. Haven't seen one of those before. What seems to be the trouble? It's broken. Don't think I could help you out with that. Never had much of a chance to study pre-war vault technology. Uh-huh. So what's your story? Wander from place to place, making a living with music and a little bit of tinkering work. Pills are here. Thanks for the sub. Heaven 11. I used to eat out of 7-Elevens a lot. Like packaged sandwiches. Kind of miss them, but I also don't. The last time I tried one, it really didn't hit like it used to. And it kind of ruined the illusion, you know? What kind of music do you sing? Mostly old folk songs and some Celtic music. It's a change of pace. Ooh, is this my intelligence kicking in? Would you happen to know Nagela Mebed? As I think it's called. Bed. Bed. I'm telling you. Weird Celtic stuff. That was a thing in the 90s. Why certainly would you like to hear it? I would. Patrick sings songs and the two of you reminisce for several hours. You feel invigorated. Man, I was hoping it would play the song. How sick would that be? That's cool though. Even them just describing it is, is pretty cool. Need some directions. Let's see here. What do you know about Necropolis? Oh wait, hold on. Using the coastline as a referent, you've got Shady Sands about a week inland. Junktown a few days south of there. Hubs just another couple days south of Junktown. Avoid Necropolis to the east of those though. Not worth the trouble. What do you know about Necropolis? City of the Dead. It's inhabited by ghouls, the descendants of humans who sought shelter in a vault there. Story goes that the vault failed somehow, so now only the inhabitants are now the only inhabitants are carrion eating monsters. You suppose that vault might have parts I could salvage? Possibly. But I, for one, wouldn't risk the ghouls. The latest word is they've got some sort of powerful new leader. Interesting. Listening to the song boost your charisma stat? Really? Is it just like a temporary thing? Killian Darkwater. Tough but fair. He doesn't have anything. Look at all this stuff, though. Doesn't see temporary on the wiki. Huh. All right. Yeah, 10. Look at that. Wow. Just had to listen to one Limp Biscuit song. And my stats permanently increased. Getting to Junk Town. Should go deal with those raiders, but I, I want at least. Walk around Junktown first. Maybe I can find some better gear or something. More more ammo? I should have some stuff to trade with. You better put that away. Junktown is a friendly place, friend. We want to keep it that way. <laughs> Don't tell me what to do, loser boy. <laughs> Just the childish writing in these games sometimes. <laughs> Ass face. <laughs> Sounds fair. By the way, what is the local law regarding weapons? Good you ask. No weapon can be drawn except in self-defense. If you start a fight, it's your fault. Other than that, it's your right to go around armed. Just don't pull a knife or gun without just cause. Have a good day. Holster that hot iron, mister. Come across a medium-sized town. Whoops. Damn it. Ah, here we go. Maybe I have my charisma. Let it work for me. 
I'm sorry to disturb you, sir, but I would like to enter your town. You can see that I would cause no harm. Well, I should do this, but you seem like a nice enough person. Come on in, but don't make any trouble. Charisma, baby. It's a good thing I listened to that Celtic song. A wall of junked cars blocks an easy entrance. A hazy smoke lies low over the town. Heavily muscled, scarred man with a mustache. What's there to do around here? Plenty, so long as you stay on our good side. We got Killian Darkwater Store, where you can do some trading, and there's Gizmo's Casino if you're a gambler. Or if you want to drink, you can head, over, head out over to the Scum Pit. Just don't get too rowdy. Hey, I like a rowdy time. Well, you best keep yourself under control. We're a free town, but we don't tolerate stepping on other people's toes. Don't cause any problems, and you won't give cause for me and my men to come down on you. We're sticking to mud. Okay, thanks. Okay, thanks. This is like D&D. &D. Loaf and pale. That's, that's always been a long distinction of computer RPGs versus, like, JRPGs. That are kind of more natively at home on a console. These are much more trying to be, like, pen and paper D&D &D experiences. You're okay. Does the gameplay hold up so far? Yeah. <sighs> yes, except for the times when Ian decides to stand in the one tile that I need to move through. Yeah, this is this is not nearly as intimidating as I remember it being. The combat is not quite as ridiculous, but also I, I have... Oh my god, I've made it worse. Oh, maybe not. Oh, yes. I do have the benefit of some dusty memories rattling around from when I played it the first time. If I had just rolled a character, uh, I probably wouldn't have nearly have done nearly so well against all the rats. But then again, the game I think has yet to really put its screws to me. I think the bandit camp is the first time the game will really chew you up. Ooh, hospital. Closed. Yeah, maybe I should just pass time until morning. Andrew? Andrew's got a name! What are you doing? Guard in the jail? This town blew my mind back then with different factions interacting. Yeah, it is kind of, the show kind of made me reminisce on some of the, some of the aspects of Fallout. Especially with some of the aspects that it faithfully represented and, and the factions aspect was really interesting. Because I think by the, by the end of the season, they did a pretty good job of sort of just representing that there were a lot of groups out there just kind of trying to do their own thing. Or had their own vision of how life ought to be. And maybe that's maybe that's just the new normal. And in, in some degree, I think the show actually hit this a lot better, but it is it is moving out of the cultural um uniformity. Not quite the smart word I was looking for, but that sort of monoculture of the fifties, realizing that it was it was all kind of an act. Basically getting out of the vaults, getting out of this this bubble of Americana. That fellow traveler, thanks for the sub. Thank you very much. But yeah, really good stuff. Lot, lots of fun stuff to think about. I think uh, it provided some good commentary on American culture and, and maybe the falling out of... Or uh, the association with the American dream, which is always kind of mid-century aesthetic kind of thing. Oh, we got a nice hole. Oh, that's right. I've been in here. Yeah, McCarthyism. Uh, 
This is a screen transition or an exit. There's multiple screens in Junk Down, I think. General Store. I mean, he'll, he'll attack me if I steal from him, right? No, he doesn't care. He's cool with it. Small, dusty box of some sort. <laughs> Television dinner. You're not sure, but it's definitely not edible. You're not quite sure if it ever was. Oh, it's mine now. House Hotel. Whoa. Tough looking woman. Welcome to the Crash House. How can I help you, stranger? I'm looking for some water. Let's try the scum pit. Heard you can get a lot of water in your booze there. <laughs> Damn, that's a good line. Can I open the fridge? Can I take all of this food? Nuka-Cola. Flavored soft drink of post-nuclear world. Warm and flat. Iguana on a stick. Classic. I'm gonna save. I think if, like, if they let you just open the container, you can take whatever you want and they don't care. How old were you when you got your first PC to play this game? I think I was 15 or 16, which is like the perfect age. I accidentally did a lot of things accidentally, accidentally. I think the timing worked out for a lot of things. None of your business, wench. I'm bird. Apparently so, since everyone knows that this is the territory of the skulls. You better beat it before someone decides to hurt you. Sorry, I thought this was the bathroom. Who are the skulls with a Z? That's us. We're the meanest gang in town. Actually, we're the only gang, but nobody messes with us. Pretty much have run of the town. You bet. No one messes with us. Well, except for Killian. But he's cool and all. He's like the sheriff, man. We do whatever we want. <laughs> who else in the gang? Well, there's Victor and Shark, who hangs out at the scum pit. Vinny, too. A couple of other guys who stop by from time to time. What is it you guys do? We just hang out. Sometimes we play games at Gizmos or have fun at the scum pit. Sometimes we do odd jobs for Gizmo or some traveler. Victor likes stalking people too. Come to think of it, you might want to stay away from him. <laughs> you work for Gizmo? What can you tell me about him? He's this huge fat guy who runs the casino. He wants to run Junk Town, but Killian keeps him in line. He pays pretty well though. Occasionally he hires Vinny or Victor to deal with people for him. If they've been a problem. Like one stranger who showed up here a few weeks ago. Why do you hang out with these guys? We're like a family. We take care of each other. Except for Shark, who's always breaking things. And Victor, who looks at people funny. But Vinny is cool. <laughs> but we do stuff together. You know, we're friends and stuff. Yeah. I don't know. This was also one of the first games I played where different characters were written differently, if that makes sense. Some characters speak very kind of colloquially and straightforward. Other characters are much more kind of like put together. Other ones we haven't met yet. Yeah, good writing. Who's this guy? I'm busy, leave me alone. All right. 
Let me just steal whatever books you might have. Ah, the cat's paw. You have no idea. Upon further inspection, inspection, you still have no idea what this is. All right. I don't know. Weighs one pound. <laughs> Great. Oh. Got the little synthy hits in this music. So, so good. Where am I? What the heck? My character running through the, the hotel? Alright, let's go back to the general store. Hey, DJ Kento. Want the Brahmin out. <sighs> Having a good start to the week? Uh, yes, I am, actually. Uh, Steph... There we go. Steph bought me an... Steph bought me an assisted stretching package. Where somebody comes over and just, like, stretches me. So, that was interesting. That's how I started the day. But it was good. Um, feeling myself loosen up a little bit. So, that's nice. I uh, got a butt recording later on. Paid some bills. Yeah, had a, had a nice breakfast of yogurt and toast. Feeling pretty limber. Welcome to Junk Town, stranger. What can I help you with? Ah, uh, it's, uh, it's the dude from Quantum Leap. Look at his feathered hair. He's got cool. He's got cool '90s hair. Who are you? The name's Killian. Killian Darkwater. I'm the mayor of this fine town. And who might you be? My name is Bird. I come from up north. Not much up that way, except desert and shady sands. You from there? Hmm. <laughs> I come from there. You idiot. I can trust this guy. Yeah, Scott Bakula. That's him. I come from a vault to the west. Oh yeah, sure you do. And when you were a baby, your crib was a safe. <laughs> you got my joke. I actually come from a village not far from Shady Sands. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, if you say so. So, what do you need? How about telling me a bit about this town? Well, Junk Town's not much, but it's home. Mostly we trade with people or let them forget their troubles for a bit. Of course, we have our share of problems. Problems? From outside, we've had the occasional to do with the cons, but they've been pretty quiet lately. Inside, trouble's been from the skulls. And I hear some strange things happening down by the hub, but they haven't affected us yet. Knock on my mother-in-law's head. Oh, zing! Zingdom! You own this store. You bet. May not be as big as some in the hub, but people usually find what they're looking for. Take a look around. Oh, wait. Richard Dean Anderson. MacGyver slash O'Neill from SG-1. That's correct. Yes. Yeah, Scott Bakula was the captain from Star Trek Enterprise. And Quantum Leap. Right. I think I was getting him mixed up. You see stuff. Gizmo sends his regards. Look at that, a, like a scripted encounter. You can get involved or not. And it just happens. It's not like a prompted thing. So good. I'm gonna help out. Cause he might give me a discount. Get him in the eyes. What you Dude, and laid him out. You gain 400 experience points for helping Killian fight the assassin. So cool. And I think I get looting rights. Hunting rifle. This is 233 caliber. 
listen, thanks for saving my life. It's a mighty brave thing to do. Now, it looks like we've got ourselves a situation here. I know Gizmo's behind this, but I need proof. You interested in helping? What do you need me for? Now, if I get proof, the people of Junktown will kick him out. Way I figure it, you need to either plant a bug at his place or wear a wire and get him to confess to you. Can you handle that? What do I get in return? I'll tell you what. Anything in the store, even the most expensive, it's yours. No charge. If it's a gun, I'll give you all the ammo you can carry. Does that sound fair? That's a lot of bullets. Yeah, yeah. It's just for gathering evidence. We're not killing anyone. It's not a hit. Yes. Right. I owe you. Here's the bug in the wiretap. You let me know when it's done. And good luck. All right, we're we're well, we're in it already. I haven't even traded. Well, howdy. He just sounds so trustworthy, you know. He doesn't have a knife. I need to. Well, I guess I don't really need a knife anymore. Maybe, maybe I've outgrown my knife. I guess I have a crowbar. That's a weapon. Wait, I don't think I have five strength. <sighs> Dude, no way. No, you've got to be able to type it in. Okay. He doesn't have, he just has the one pistol though. But this was back from the era when the Desert Eagle was the strongest weapon on the face of the planet. Oh, the tables have different inventory. Okay. Can, Can I help you? Ah, ah. Okay. It's a tacky, unreliable piece of shit, but the Tiger Stripe Desert Eagle is the greatest thing ever. <laughs> yeah. Oh, hell yeah. How tough am I? Just saw a headline. Starfield just got way more visceral with a new cinematic kill cam. Naturally, I assume Bethesda just added this in an update and I was happy. Clicked into the article, they're talking about a mod. I don't know if I'm more annoyed by the clickbait or Bethesda's in action. Yeah, they finally patched the game once, didn't they? There's one patch. But it doesn't have any of the like quality of life stuff they teased. It was just like some minor bug fixes for console, I think. Mentats! Increases memory and related functions and speeds other mental processes. Causes cravings. Yeah, certified Bethesda moment. Oh, the Red Rider BB gun. Classic. Optional carrying straps. What's the backpack do? Oh, you can put stuff inside of it. That makes sense. Can I help? Well, now I can sell all of his stuff back to him. Ooh. Oh, yeah, you can't. Right.
pleasure doing business with you, sir. Yeah, there's. I just did not have the ability to like think about, like even thinking about things like that, like just siphoning everything off the dude's shelves and then selling it back to him. I wonder if just little things like that are going to make this playthrough a lot easier. We'll see. All right. I gotta go to the casino. Where the heck is that? And then there's still places I haven't really interacted with in that first area because it was too late. Oh, is it the Skulls hideout? New blood, heh heh heh. You're not a very happy person, are you? Why do you say that? I'm quite happy. I'm very happy because there are lots of things that bleed. <laughs> ah yes, art appreciation. I can understand that, I think. Someone who understands me at last! That's Victor. Tattoo in a bad attitude. You're on Skulls, Turf Stranger. You better talk quick. Skulls, who are you guys? We're the one and only Juketown, Junktown gang. We have the run of the streets, and we rule the city at night. You couldn't run the schoolyard, Chromo. I thought the city was run by Gizmo after hours. Yeah, let's, let's start chumming the water and see what bites. That slob can't even stand up by himself. We are the muscle in this town. We take what we want. You have some sort of deal with Killian? We don't bother Killian and he doesn't bother us as long as we keep it low key. You get me? Yeah, I get it all right. You have to hide out from him. You don't take that from anybody. Least of all Killian. Just because he thinks he's a glorified sheriff doesn't mean he controls the skulls. Didn't mean to get you all riled up. Oh, Vinny. Just after you talk to them, you know their name. I want to talk with them more, but I don't want to push it and trigger combat. Did I ever tell you you're a real sicko? Don't say that. My mother said that. I'll make you pay. I'm a good boy, right, mommy? Oh, is he gonna attack me? Uh-oh. Shouldn't have called him a sicko. He sleeps standing up? Who doesn't? It's the wasteland, man. People are weird here. Let me go back to that first screen. Playing Fallout because of the show where you just in the mood? Maybe a little bit of both, but yeah, mostly the show. Mostly the show. Definitely have been in the mood for pre-rendered graphics. How's it going? Good and you. The cougar is always fine. You need to talk to my man, Flash. Flash won't talk to me. Three rocks? A rotund little person. What are you down here for? To see how you're doing? Um, okay. What are you doing? Body parts almost ready to go to the hub. Aw, oh, man. Of course, that's why I'm here. Iguana Man Bob send you. He happy. Lots of good meat. You're selling human body parts for people to eat? 
Yes. Doc Morbid has best human bodies around. None better. Uh, I'll be back to pick up the bodies in a little while. Goodbye. Oh, Doc Morbid's right there. doctor is out it just says the doctor is out how weird I was maybe out like unconscious oh wait oh, okay your boss sent me down Let's see here. Does that mean you're almost done? Yes, almost done. It's about time. Let's see here. I can't take it. Oh, they're gone. That's not good. Oh, line of sight. Maybe I can report this to Killwater, whatever his name is. Yeah, I'm playing the good old games version, just with a, a separate scaler so that I can run it in a somewhat civilized, well, a low, a low resolution and then just scale it up full screen. Killian. Well, howdy. What can I do for you today? Well, nothing about body parts. I guess he's just not, not concerned about it. God damn it, Ian. I mean, I guess I could kill them. I could attack him and shut it down. That doesn't feel very sporting, though, does it? Oh, yeah, this is just where all the cards are. Huh. Oh, okay. That's all that's on the screen. I gotta at least have a taste. Judge not, lest ye be judged. And maybe try it, try a little human meat. Why not? Just can't beat the ambience sound in this game. Ooh, the ambience or the ambient sound. Two different words. I think I found the casino. Wait, what? Dog seems to think you are his owner. You gain 100 experience points for helping Phil solve his canine conundrum. Did I? Oof. He's following me. Oh, okay. Is that dog meat? Oh, that dog meat you found in like a random event. And he kept stepping on mines. I remember that a lot. He would get himself blown up. Late game was like save scumming just to prevent dog meat from blowing himself up. I don't know if I'm going to play all the Fallout games. I'm just dicking around with Fallout 1. Oh, and the cafe Broken Dreams. Yeah, I remember that. I remember doing a max luck run just to find dog meat. I'd be like, oh, wait. Oh, it's only open at night, I guess. I did watch the show, yeah.
Wins tactics? Oh, I tried playing through Fallout tactics. And I just got- it got so tedious and long. I couldn't hang. There's not a whole lot interesting that happens in it either. It's just a bunch of levels, pretty much. What do you do here? <laughs> a tough guy, eh? I bet I could take you. I love how you can just be mindlessly antagonistic. I'm a boxer. Ooh. What's the deal? I work for Gizmo. He's the owner of that great casino there. Pays good money to fighters here, too. What else do you want to know? What can you tell me about Gizmo in that casino? Gizmo's casino is where everyone goes to gamble. There are many games, and you can have a great time. It's the best place this side of the hub. What else is there to do around here? If you're looking for supplies, you should try Killian Darkwater's store. You can also get a night's sleep at the crash house. Planning to stay a while, you might want to get a drink over at the scum pit, but watch out for the skulls. Who are the skulls? The skulls are a bad bunch who hang out at the back of the crash house and at the scum pit. Watch out for them. They like playing with knives. I guess I have to go to the scum pit at night to see the skulls active. Anything else? What can I help you with? What? Why would I do that? Pat my weapon? Gustafur? No boxing today. When's the next match? Try again tomorrow. Saul will be boxing then. Who's Saul? Local champion. Favorite of Gizmo. Done. Alright, is that Saul? No, it's a boxing guard. Nice empty bookcase. Yeah, you can see the car models and stuff. Kind of see that retro futurism look there. God, it looks so good. All right, let's step into Gizmos, see what we're getting ourselves into. Gizmo's guard? Whew. Five caps. Winner! You push. You want to play again? Nah, I'm good. Sick. Just made five caps. Crabs table. Play the slots? One cap. Better luck next time. No thanks. Yeah, Bill, I agree. The physical props they made for the show have been a treat. Yes, uh, I thought the props were great. And you know what's nice is that even though there were a big, a pretty good amount of them and they all looked really good, the camera didn't linger over long on any of them. Like there were there were appropriate shots for like references and, and in-world props and stuff. But it like sometimes the editing can be like, whoa, like the, the editing sort of expects you to lose your mind instead of just being like, huh. Um, so I was, I was very pleased about that. The placement was nice, the editing moved. Are they gonna be cool with me coming back here? And yeah. A lot of physical props and a lot of physical locations. They were super, super nice. Yeah. Whoa, a stim pack! It was actually like, I appreciated the writing on a number of levels. Uh, one of the things I think was super clever, and thank god, at least a little bit subtle, was kind of establishing the video gamier side side to the world rules. And specifically, the way that they showed a stim pack working in the world was, I thought, super, super smart. Um, they kind of established that it is sort of video game healing. Sorry, I didn't, forgot to zoom in my webcam more. But they did it distributed over a number of like three pretty important scenes involving stim packs 
they kind of tiptoed into them just being, you know, health potions, basically. But because they didn't do it all in one scene with like a big nod and a wink to the camera and like a character being like, wow, I just recovered five HP. Uh, it was so much better done, so much more subtle and graceful. Michael Emerson was great. Who is Michael Emerson? Is that Maximus? Oh no, he was the scientist man. Yeah, he was good. He played his role well. Which is to say like, the, the spooky oracle basically. Box of noodles? You have no idea what instant spaghetti means. All I know is that it's yummy. Yeah, costume design looked really good. I just think he's neat. He is neat. <laughs> he's got a Jeffrey Combs energy. I'm all about that. People that kind of smolder with, with like ethereal weirdness. Yeah, you let the audience conclude it's funky logic and it comes off as clever nod instead of telling them directly. Yeah, yes. And it's, it's, uh, it's an, it's like a sidecar to a scene that's already doing something important. Yeah, the terminal hacking scene was pretty cool. I mean, honestly, in the fact, like the characters that do it, it makes sense, right? They're, they have that character build. There's some scenes in, in the show that really do look like Fallout characters using their skills, which is fun. There's like a failed barter that I thought was pretty fun. I was like, ah, but it still works as a scene. Anyway, let's talk to this. Let's talk to this guy. A busy man. Oh, he's underlit. You know, he's a good guy. <laughs> oh, yeah. Have you seen the nerd rage that the show evidently retcons out the lore of New Vegas? I mean, it. I guess it does conflate. I was trying to figure that out while I was watching the show. But it didn't really bother me. I'm sure that some nerds are mad about it because nerds are always mad about something. But I'm not going to let... Somebody's inevitable hang up over something immaterial affect my enjoyment of the TV show, which was very good. Like it was, it was superb in all the ways that matter to me. And, uh, very, again, very, very, very happy. They didn't lean too hard on the references or giving like whenever there's, they give the audience screen time to jerk off. There's like that jerk off beat where they want to make sure that every dumb idiot in the audience made sure that they saw the thing they recognize. So very glad. Very glad that it did that. Yeah, everyone else was good. Anyway. Hmm. Oh, wait. Nothing actually. I'll be going now. People who waste my time. Don't come back again. Soon. That's right. I got to... Can I put a... Maybe I can put a bug on the shelf here. Because I have a wire, but I don't know if I have to turn it on. That does nothing. Where did it go? Oh. Well, they don't have a problem with that. Izo says nothing. Something. I guess, is it just going? Watts Electronics Play It For Me tape recorder plays and records the standard 30 minute high density record at once tapes. Weighs five pounds. Yeah, does nothing. Okay. I guess I'll just assume that it's going. Get out of here, you asshole. Damn it. I've already used my chance. I don't know if I saved after I talked to him. I think I might have. Damn it, I did. Alright, well, time to plant the bug. Maybe if I wait long enough, like wait a day, he'll talk again?
Ooh. Napster 1490. Thank you for the super chat. I don't know why my alerts have decided to not work. Oh, maybe... Th no, that doesn't make sense. Freeman, who would have thought you'd still be alive? Technically, that's yours, Napster. I'm sorry. Well, howdy. What can I do for you to you have to wear a recorder and tape Gizmo confessing? Or... I mean, I did plant the wire in his office. But maybe not where he wanted? Ah, shit. Maybe I have to spend a night in the hotel. Or pass a day or something. Got that dude still there. Well, howdy. Mm. You have to wear a record. Maybe you have to plant it on his desk. Wants me to put that. Let's see. <laughs> hmm. Maybe I need to wait until night time? I could also maybe, maybe it's something with the gang. No, so it just says that. that I saved after botching my conversation, but that's how it goes sometimes. Where else is there to put it? Can't interact with his desk. There's a table, but I can't interact with it. Hmm. Let me go check out the bar. Oh, can you put it in the window? Yeah, I noticed the window looked suspicious. Maybe if I run around behind, it'll prompt or something. Registering the window is like a separate thing. I have a window open over the screen. I don't know what that means. Do 
You have to equip it like a weapon. Oh! And then you use it on something? Okay. What if it's the same for the recorder? Hmm. That does nothing. You just, you just do it right in front of him? Does nothing. Does nothing. this it says you cannot get there so that's nice Yeah, the this is the the saltier part of older fallouts, I guess. Sometimes you can know what you want to do or the decision you want to make, the action you want to take. But you're not quite sure what the game wants to see or recognize. Oh, there we go. That does nothing. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I might have to to steal and shove it into his pocket as he's sitting at his desk. Here, let me go chat up chat up the folks in the scum pit first. Maybe the skulls will slip some info about Gizmo. Welcome to the scum pit. What can I do for you? I'll have a drink. What do you want? Take a beer, five caps. Slurp. There you go, enjoy. Did I get one in my inventory? Yeah, frost one. Some type of homebrewed bearer. Looking for info. What's the scoop on this town? Just over to the west is Gizmo's Casino. I'd be surprised if you didn't know about it. Most of the people here are the ones who just finished losing their money there. Over in the other part of town, you got Killian's General Store and Marcel's Crash House. Killian's a good guy, runs a straight joint, carries everything you need. Crash House is where you sleep, on, sleep it off when you've been in here too long. <laughs> All right. Shit. All right, somebody got shot. I guess he touched the he touched the server. Owns the bar. Neil owns the bar. He's a good guy. I was treated me right. We used to date, but he got a little too serious for my liking. I don't want to be a widow. Why did you scream about Saul? Saul's my boyfriend. He's really good to me. Who's Gizmo? Runs a casino. I'd like to take over Neil's bar, but Neil doesn't want to sell. Kizmo Killian and Gizmo do not like each other. One of them will either have to leave town or be buried beneath it. Yeah, I'm alright. Hey, free armor. And a free knife. Okay, well, I got better armor. That looks pretty valuable. If you're going to pick up the urn, you should be more surreptitious about it. There's an urn there?
small gold trophy. Forgot I haven't. Well, I, I guess I didn't buy the inspection perk. Well, okay, got free armor. No hints about how to approach this situation. Okay, hold on. I'm just gonna look it up. God damn it. This is silly. Oh! Yeah, okay. I do think, yeah, it looks like you have to steal and plant it on him. Which means we've entered the save scum zone. God damn it. Ugh. It's there, it's not there. Caught planting the bug. Get out of here. Oh, you can't try again? Jeez. Oh, I think I was hitting the wrong thing. Plant the bug. Gain 10 experience points. Yes. to go report the good news and then I'm gonna have to wind down the stream actually uh gotta head on over to big boy boosts to record the next butt I think I'm gonna try to pitch him on playing playing fallout 1 for for the butt video we'll see how that goes I want to see Bruce try to play fallout I don't know if that's a good idea Mostly I want people to just, or I want to, I want there to be a Fallout playthrough where nobody gets out of the first cave. Oh hey, the body's gone. Nice. Did you get the evidence? I sure did. Which? Bug or tape? Bug. Let me make sure it's working. Loud and clear. We're gonna get him. In the meantime, we've got some business. No thanks. Knowing that Gizmo's going to get his due is thanks enough. No, it's not. Shotgun. Well, thanks again. Well, listen, I'm gonna take the guards and run Gizmo and his cronies out of town. I could use another gun. Report. Hey, Wind. Thanks for the sub. Kind of depends on what you're willing to give me. Well, I can pay you the standard rate for mercenary work. 500 caps. Done. Good enough. Go see Lars. He'll give you the details. Who's Lars? Are you Lars? You're okay. Go see Lars. Where is Lars? 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 We down at the guard station? Andrew. Where is Lars? Hmm. Maybe he's the guard? Is it you? 
Oh, here we go. Let's nail that tub. Yes. Got Izo in the eyes. Uh, he's punching the shit out of me regardless. Yes! Dog meat is going for it. Yeah, Killian can die here. That much I remember. Let's get him in the eyes. You know what, Malcolm? I was talking about that. How Fallout kept the, the sound of the panel sliding open for VATS activation. Oh! Blew a hole in the back of the chair. Here's your 500 caps. You're always welcome in Junk Town, friend. Yes. Let me get back up there and see if I can uh, if I can loot that place before before they car carry off the bodies. Yeah, the hero of Junk Town. It's climbing on up. Hey, Day John. Yes, old school Fallout. All the way back. Not nearly as painful as I uh, as I was kind of expecting, actually. And again, maybe I haven't gotten to the real bad stuff. I haven't, like... Assaulting the raider camp is going to be interesting, I think. Yes. I can <laughs> take the bug back. Maybe I could sell it. We didn't actually get any evidence. We just planted the bug and then raided him. What what button is lock pick? Two. Okay. Any plans to play two? I don't know. We'll see. I don't even know if I'm gonna. I don't even know if I'm gonna finish this. Ooh, guns and bullets. A bag. There are caps in that bag. Cool. I've done a good thing here. <laughs> I've saved these people from a humble business owner, which is what I am. There you go. You learned nothing new. Oh, right. I should have sold it. Oh, well. I'm already too good at guns. Peak, thank you for the sub. Has it been more than seven years? I guess so. 87 months is a very long time. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you, everyone. Uh, I'm going to wrap up the stream today. But I'll be back soon, probably with more Fallout, because this was actually really fun. And this this uh, this aesthetic is unmatched. So, appreciate y'all. Uh, I got a lot of other stuff on deck to play, too. A lot of weird stuff. I'm waiting for an HDI uprising thing to come in so that I can play Steel Battalion, the Xbox big-ass, clunky, mech, stompy, impossible game. I only ever got to, like, the fourth stage in that back in the day. So I can probably do better than that, maybe. That's going to be a pain in the ass. In a hopefully fun way. <clears throat> but yeah, uh, that's kind of, that's next on deck. And then also, yeah, Metal Gear Solid VR missions. A lot of late 90s stuff. Very nostalgic. In terms of newer games, I'm still playing through Rebirth and Dragon's Dogma 2. And, uh, oh yeah, and this Saturday is uh, April 20th. I have a, hold on a minute. I've got a, a list of weed games that I've been putting together. Crime Boss, of course. Cursed Halo, I haven't played through. That's a good weed game. Soldier Boys, uh, or Mobus, a couple of FMV 90s games. 
manifold garden is like a trippy fractal like 3d exploration game red alert just has fucking sick music and awesome fmbs half-life 2 is just awesome all around need for speed hot pursuit giant citizen kabuto i've been thinking a lot about and y2k i always think about y2k uh for weed day i haven't played it yet this might be the year so a lot of good weed games in there a lot of good fmvs yeah some heavy hitters i just plan to dedicate the whole day to it getting getting goinked up i'm gonna see if i can come up with some kind of stream gimmick where like something something a little extra spice the original zezanizzle the one with the first person in fmvs the, like the mid aughts hot pursuit wait is that the critique no that is the criterion one there's like three hot pursuit games i think yeah well anyway uh thanks for watching everybody Really appreciate it. I always have fun sharing video game experiences and hope to see you all next time. Have a great day, everybody. situations the automation system is vital in fact its power is awesome and your scope virtually limitless well that's the syntax and if I can do all that think what it would be like in your hands next let's see how to use the ceramic knife to cut meat this is a piece of brief if we cut like this way it can't be meat slice in China there are three ways to use the knife the first way is chop. If we use the ceramic knife to chop, it may hurt our fingers. The next way is drag from the back. But use it this way. The meat we cut out is also small. Sometimes, we need to cut the meat into slices. So the last method may be work. First, when we hold the knife, use your forefinger to bear against the blade. Not much strength, but be sure use the right strength. If what you use it a good knife, it's very easy for you to cut the meat into pieces. We usually test a knife by using it to cut fruits and vegetables. It's very easy. Any knives can do if they are not blunt. Next, we will do a test on what exactly a good knife is. Here is a tower, a large one, a real one. And we will use the ceramic knife to cut it to test whether the knife is sharp or not. It's very easy for us to cut into pieces. Generally speaking, cutting tau is more difficult than cutting meat and vegetables. But tau is not the most difficult thing to cut. What is the most difficult thing? The wood. No doubt. Here is a real wood. Now we use the ceramic knife to cut. We will see that it's so simple and easy. The steel knife and the knives with bad quality will never